In this video, I'm going to talk about why building captivating landing pages is important to your business. And then I'll demonstrate how to build a landing page in BoingNet. When a marketer is looking for the best way to capture new leads, the first place to start is to build a captivating landing page. A landing page is a targeted web page that allows you to capture visitors' information and direct them into your sales funnel. Since you control the information on your landing page, it's important that you provide the prospective customer with targeted information and with one specific call to action. Marketers are now using landing pages for every advertisement, promotion, and campaign they create. While this can seem daunting, platforms like BoingNet make it easy for marketers to build high-performing landing pages without help from IT. Research has shown that it's very important for the landing page that a prospect arrives at to message match with the ad or promotion they originally viewed. This way the prospect doesn't get distracted by other content that might exist on your website and they focus entirely on your campaign's call to action. For more information on current landing page practices, we've put together several blog articles for you to read. Find them on our website. In this video, I'll show you how to choose your landing page layout. And next, I'll show you how to use the template editor to build the content of your landing page. Finally, I'll demonstrate how to use variable data and logic to personalize your landing page. To begin, go to the main navigation bar and click on Build, and then select Templates. Click on Create New Template, and then underneath Landing Page Templates, select Create with Template Builder. This page allows you to define the layout for your landing page. On the left side of the page, you can choose a header, a body, a footer, and a background for your landing page. The right side of the page shows you what your layout will look like based on the selections you've made. You can preview what your template will look like on a laptop, a mobile phone, or a tablet by clicking on the icons next to Preview Template. Once you have your layout the way you'd like it, click Start Editing to build the content of your landing page. Once you're in the editor, you'll notice that you have access to two sidebars. The sidebar on the right is the Help sidebar, and it gives you easy access to help articles and videos right from within the editor. For example, if you'd like to insert some variable data fields but you don't remember how, you can click on this link and go directly to the help video and article to take a look. And once you're done, just click on the X. The sidebar on the left is the template sidebar and it gives you easy access to building template blocks, inserting link buttons, inserting variable data fields, forms, variable logic, Salesforce lead forms, thank you page redirects, and email autoresponders. We'll talk about those in a minute. For right now, let's talk about template information. This is where you assign a name to your template. You'll want to do that right when you get into the template editor, otherwise your template will be saved with a generic date and timestamp. To make changes to your template, click on the area of the template you'd like to edit. You'll notice the standard toolbar appears, where you can cut, copy, paste, and select the font, size, and color of your text. It's also where you can insert images and links. If you'd like to reveal the HTML of your template, click on this Source button. This allows you to make changes directly to the HTML. Just remember to click the green OK button when you're done. Deleting the sample text that appears in your template blocks is easy. Just highlight the text and delete it. To add a new template block, click on Template Blocks and select a background color for your template block by choosing a color and then a shade from the color picker. Finally, select the number of columns for your template block. You can make adjustments to your template block by clicking on the icons in the upper right hand corner. To move a block, click on this icon and drag the block into its desired position. To resize the block, click on this icon and drag the lower right corner until you have the desired dimensions for your block. To delete a block, click on the trash icon. To insert text into a template block, place your cursor where you'd like your text to go, select a size and a color for your text, and enter your text. There are several ways to insert images into your template. As a matter of fact, there's a help article you can access from the help sidebar. 
I'm going to walk you through the most straightforward way to insert an image. First, size the image to your desired dimensions and then upload it into the BoingNet Asset Manager. Once you've done that, place your cursor where you'd like the image to go and click on the image icon. From the Image Properties box, click on Browse Server to go directly to your Asset Manager. Find the image you'd like to insert and double click on it. You can see a preview of it. Click the green OK button to insert the image into your template. Entering links is easy as well. If you'd like to assign your link to a text fragment, first enter the text fragment. Next, highlight the text fragment and click on the link icon. When the link properties box opens, enter your URL in the box and then click the green OK button. To remove the link, Highlight it again and click the Unlink button. One that allows you to build beautiful customized link buttons. These are great to use as your call to action buttons on your landing pages. To build one, place your cursor where you'd like your button to display. And then click on Link Buttons from the template sidebar. In the first box, enter your button text. My call to action button is going to navigate my viewers to my free trial registration page. In the next box, enter the URL you'd like to link to. Boynet will create a nice shaded button once you've entered a start gradient color, an end gradient color, and a shadow color. And since research has shown that call to action buttons are the most effective when they're bright contrasting colors and they stand out from your landing page, I'm going to build a bright orange button. To do that, Click on the box next to Start Gradient Color to reveal the color picker. Select a color from the right side of the box and a shade from the left side. And then repeat the process for the end gradient color and the shadow color. In the next box, select a text color. And then finally a text style, a text size, a button height, and a button width. You get a nice preview of what your button will look like and when you're satisfied, click Insert Button. And that's how you build a beautiful call to action button. When you're creating a landing page, you'll want the option to include a web form on that landing page so you can capture information about your viewer to be used in future marketing campaigns. Boynet allows you to create web forms outside of the template editor so they can be stored in their own library and reused again in various templates. Once you have a web form created, inserting it into a landing page template is easy. Place the cursor where you'd like your web form to be inserted, click on the form option on your template sidebar, choose the form you'd like to insert, and then click insert form. For more information on how to create our various forms, take a look at our help article and video on the topic. Once your viewer has completed your form and clicked the Submit button, it's good practice to redirect them to a thank you page where you can thank them for taking the time to complete your form. To do that, select Thank You Page Redirect from the template sidebar. You can enter a Pearl Path if this is a personalized campaign or a Full Path to direct them to another web page. If you're using a Pearl Path, make sure that the thank you portion of the URL exactly matches the friendly URL you defined for that thank you page on the microsite for this campaign. Once you're done, click the Insert button. Save your template and go back into it. You'll notice a small hidden fields box next to your Submit button. If you double click on it, you can see the value of the Pearl Path you just entered. Feel free to edit that if you need to. This box allows you to do that without going into your template's HTML. Let's talk about inserting variable data and logic into your template. This is where you can take your base template and modify the content to speak directly to different segments of your audience. Statistics show that when you provide relevant content to your viewers, you'll drive higher engagement, click-throughs, leads, and sales during your campaign. And Boynet makes it easy to do. Let's start with inserting some variable data. 
You can display any data that you uploaded into your contact list, and you can be as creative as that data allows you to be. My contact list for this campaign included first name, last name, state, and email address. So I'm going to add a greeting underneath my logo that reads hello and then my viewer's first name. To do that, I'm going to enter the first part of my statement under my logo. Next, from the template sidebar, I'm going to click on Variable Data Inserts, and then I'm going to find the data that I'd like to insert, which is first name, and click on it. You can easily make this text blend in with the rest of your template. Now, let's insert some variable logic. For all my viewers who live in Massachusetts, I'd like to display we're neighbors underneath the greeting I just created. To do that, I'm going to place the cursor underneath the greeting I just created, and then I'm going to select Variable Logic from the template sidebar. The Variable Logic feature allows you to build an if statement. In the first box, enter the data element you'd like your if statement to check, in this case, state. In the second box, enter the operator for your if statement, in this case, equals. In the third box, enter the value for your data element, in this case, Massachusetts. And finally, in the last box, enter the content that you'd like displayed when the if statement's true. And finally, click on the Insert button. You'll notice that the entire if statement is inserted in your template, but when your landing page is live, only the content will display and only for those viewers whose state equals Massachusetts. Remember to click Save when you're done making edits to your landing page template. We've just walked through three easy steps for creating captivating landing pages in Boingnet. Check out our knowledge base for additional information on adding YouTube videos to your landing pages, or social media buttons, or Google Maps. With Boingnet, it's easy to create lead capturing landing pages that are responsive, mobile friendly, and personalized. In addition, we offer a service that can build pages for clients for a small fee, or we can recommend several agencies that have created hundreds of effective landing pages using Boingnet. If you're anxious to get started, sign up for a free trial today. If you have questions, give us a call at 1-800-264-6420 or email us. We'd love to hear from you.